So we decided to put in a pool and do it ourselves. We thought that would be the hard part, but really it wasn't. It was the electrical. I decided to take what I learned putting in the electrical and share that so that anybody else going through a pool installation would know what to do. In New York State you have to have the pool bonded in four places and the water bonded and they all have to terminate at the motor. The pool bonding is done by digging a trench around the pool 18 to 24 inches from the pool wall, four to six inches deep, and laying a number eight solid copper wire. It has to be bonded to the pool in four places. Here you can see the bonding lug with the wire It's attached to the main wire with this lug, this, uh, direct burial lug. Now when you're calculating the length of this wire, just use the formula of your 2 pi r will get you the circumference of the pool. Add 2 feet that'll get you the circumference of a 24 inch extra and then add the distance to your pump motor. We dug this trench with a pickaxe made it nice and narrow is probably the best way to dig it. The connections are supposed to be evenly spaced around the pool and in our case we had 18 pillars so it couldn't be evenly spaced but as close as possible. Here you can see they make a device, it's a nine square inches of metal need to be touching the pool water. And this is done through the skimmer basket. There's a, they make a device and it, it comes out through the skimmer basket with a, uh, a connector. And I make that so that it's connected to the wire, goes down to the fourth connection, and then that is all hooked together. follows over and connects to the motor. The electric has to be in a sealed, uh, in-use, weatherproof box. It's a twist lock plug. The plug has to be a uh, the, the cord has to be a maximum of three feet and you have to have a switch and all of this I believe has to be six feet from the pool. Now we use this setup which has the separate uh, on off switch. You can see the conduit goes down. Now this is uh, GFCI at the breaker and because of that this conduit only needs to be 12 inches below the surface. If the GFCI was out here it would need to be 18 inches. Also required is a convenience outlet 10 to 20 feet uh, no further away than 20 feet from the pool. This one we did with a GFCI in the box Again, it has to have an in-use cover. 
If the pool ladder was metal, it would also need to be bonded. In this case, it's not metal, it's plastic, so that didn't require any extra work. Now for the inside. We decided to go with just standard 20 amp breakers and a faceless GFCI. A faceless GFCI was considerably cheaper and it fits in. If it ever goes bad it's easy enough to replace that for another 20 bucks or whatever rather than a 50 or 60 dollar breaker. New York State requires a pool timer so we just used a, an Intermatic uh, timer and I can see where it's going to save money in the long run although uh, just another regulation somebody came up with they make you do it before you get inspected this is a shot of the where the electric connects up we've got a junction box and then we switch over to the conduit and inside the conduit we used a single strand wire uh, you can't use Romex in the conduit single strand wire running out through to the pump motor And here's the one that goes to the convenience outlet. It's a separate 20 amp circuit. Uh, you could use one that already exists if, if you have it, but in our case it was more convenient to run a separate wire. And that's it. That's the requirements for installing electric in New York State.